Welcome back to another episode of Barbecue and Bottles. And today, we're gonna to be turning these leftover brisket trimmings into beef tallow. This beef tallow, some people call it Texas butter. It's a beautiful substitute for butter if you're searing steaks or for canola oil if you're doing deep fried. Really, it's a great fat substitute in any recipe if you're looking for a bit richer and beefier flavor profile to your recipe. So if you're into that kind of thing, stick with us. So our first step's a simple one. We're just gonna get the brisket trimmings out here on a cutting board and cut them into smaller pieces. Now we're just chopping this up using a knife, but if you've got a grinder, you can put this through your meat grinder as well. I think that'll have a tendency to get a little bit more beef tallow out of it, but we found this method to be just fine. So we're cutting our pieces up into a size about that big. So now that we've got our trimmings chopped up here, we're just gonna add a little bit of water. Now we've added about a cup of water and this is just gonna prevent any scorching as we're rendering down these trimmings. Now as you can see in here, we do have a decent amount of actual muscle in addition to the fat and don't worry about that. It's gonna turn into these beautiful cracklings and we'll show you how that happens and how the fat just separates over the course of this, this cook. Now the next step, let's get the side burner on the barbecue fired up and get this guy simmering away. Now we'll get our side burner turned on. Now we're gonna set this to medium low because we want this to just be a controlled simmer. We don't wanna be burning anything just really nice and slow over the course of probably 45 minutes. Now the best part about doing this outside on the barbecue is not only do you keep the heat out of your house in the summer, but there's some smells that will come off of this as we're rendering down animal fat. And it's just nice to keep that outside as well. You don't have the smell of rendering beef tallow going out throughout your house. Now we're just gonna let this simmer away here for about 45 minutes and we'll be stirring periodically. You don't want any of this to burn. The pieces around the outside of the pot are actually gonna render a little bit quicker than the interior, so you wanna be stirring that periodically. The other thing that you can do while you're waiting is just dream up what you're gonna use this for. So what we're gonna use it for in the next video on this channel is gonna be a Nashville hot chicken recipe, but we're gonna be doing wings and sliders. So we're gonna be using a mix of Sam the Cooking Guy and Joshua Wiseman's recipes to come up with a really incredible Nashville hot chicken chicken wing and slider recipe that's gonna be perfect for game day. So you can see we've got this bubbling away here. It's simmering nicely. You can already start to see some of the fat pieces going a little bit more translucent as they start to render off their fat. So we're just gonna let this continue to go here. Again, we don't want this bubbling too quickly or vigorously but I think we've got it at the right temperature here on medium low. So as you can see, as we come along here, the water's all evaporated off as this has been simmering for a little while and you'll start to get a brown oil. And this is just the liquid gold that we're trying to get out of the brisket trimmings here. So just continue to stir periodically. You'll see some of the trimmings. They'll start to brown up like this. That's totally fine. That's just starting to release all of those fats and the tallow out of this brisket. So this is perfect. You can really see the trimming starting to brown up like this. Really, really nice. We're starting to develop that crispiness. So it's almost like we're gonna have beef crackling left over at the end of this process. So just continue to stir like this. And as it gets browner, you're gonna wanna stir more frequently just to make sure that you're getting all of that remaining tallow rendered out. So you can see here, we've got pretty much all of the fat rendered off of these brisket trimmings. So we're just gonna remove them, put them on a paper towel, and then we'll be left with the tallow still in the pot. Now, if you want, you can just sprinkle a little bit of salt over these while they're still hot. And it's the beef equivalent of pork crackling, really tasty. And this is just another good example of how you don't have to let any of this go to waste. So we've allowed the oil to cool down for about an hour and a half to two hours. Now that's not an essential step, but it's a good one from a safety perspective because pouring hot oil is really dangerous. So we're gonna pour this into a mason jar. We just have a coffee cone with a coffee filter into it, and that's gonna separate out all the particles from the pure tallow. So we're just gonna pour this in here. It's helpful to have 
somebody just assist you with this. So just fill it up. You'll see that it will start to drip out the bottom. As you'll see here, this process is gonna take a little while. We put in a bunch of tallow. We'll let that drain out and then we'll fill it up with some more tallow. And we're just trying to get the sediment out of the bottom of this tallow. So we're left with pure goodness in our mason jar. Now for our mason jar, you're gonna to wanna to use one that's been sanitized here. So we just boiled some water, dipped this in it. And once we're finished, you should be able to keep this in your fridge for up to six months based on uh, the research that we've done here online. So this right here is why you wanna do it once the oil has cooled down. As we were pouring in more oil, we uh, ended up losing grip on the funnel here. So we've lost probably about half of our tallow, but that's all right. So it's the next day, we're doing another two briskets. So we're gonna fill up the rest of this jar here. So we've already made the tallow, it's cooled down. Now we're just gonna filter it. So again, we've waited until the tallow is nice and cool before doing this. And you can see when the tallow is refrigerated, it then solidifies and turns white like this. So we're just gonna add to that. So the top part here will still be liquid and we'll pop that back in the fridge, save it for tomorrow when we make our Nashville hot chicken. So there you go. We finished this up really nice and easy, as long as you don't spill it. <laughs> but anyway, you're really gonna enjoy this. Again, a great substitute for butter or oils if you're deep frying. And it's a great way to keep with the nose to tail eating philosophy that's really important to us here on the channel. So if you like this video, give it a like below, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.